What are you talking about? Justice has like a delusional fight plan with himself. Like, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't... He shared with me his game plan. It's, it's he's got a good strategy. Yeah. A good strategy to what? To, you know, knock you out. Like... How are you gonna knock me out if you don't wake up in the morning? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, hey, you must sleep. Say things that make sense. Like, what do you mean? Dedication. Spend your time wisely. Yeah, I know it's hard, but you gotta do it like Nike. Them benefits are lovely. That trophy mighty shiny. <laughs> Shout out to that mad nappy boy and even wifey. Oh, God first, God bless. You know, you know. God first, God bless. You know. Second day of school hype. You guys say good morning, Maverick fam. What's wrong with you? Nothing, nothing, nothing. We have a board over here that you get to write your name or maybe your mom can help with that because everybody that's in the preschool has their name on there. You see everybody else has got their names up there so that is so cool. Good job, Sugar. Perfect. Come here, Verity. Got one more, I know that. <laughs> Let's, what do you want to write? Right there? Right there, okay. okay. B-E-R-I-T-Y. Yeah. Good job, B. So there's everybody in your, bless you, everybody in your class is there so far. I think I've got everybody. So we're gonna keep this board out so you know who you're, your, your people are in there? Is that too cool? Thank you. Right, we'll get new balloons tomorrow. We need to do that. These are sad. Uh, <laughs> hey, you gotta save those. Alright, bye bye. Have fun. Say bye, thank you. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> she was excited about that, so I figured we'd we'd be nice and get it done. <laughs> Off to class. So tiny, oh my goodness. Now I'm taking you to class, babe. I never Love you, Ray. We'll see you later. You've never seen that puppy so tiny. You're pretty, Lyric. Yeah, because they thank you. Thank you. Rude. And get another whole heart today. We'll see you later, V. Bye, guys. Church flow. Dang. You hit her hard. Good gracious. <laughs> they are low key. This one. I know. Go to class, Ray. Bell, come on. Separate ways. You're so crazy. Love you, Ray Ray. Love you guys. Come on, Belle. Can you come on? All right, that's enough of that. Is your hustle hungry? Is your hustle hungry? Let's pray and then we'll jump into it. God, thank you again for everyone here. Open our hearts to receive your word tonight. We thank you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Is your hustle hungry? In other words, are you hungry for God? Are you hungry for what God has for you? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Here's what the Bible says. Actually talks about this. In Matthew 5, verse 6. It says this. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice or, or righteousness or Him. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for Him, for they will be satisfied. So is your hustle hunger? Now think about it. Thought about it. Why? Why aren't we hungrier for God? Why is it when it comes to God and it comes to what He has for us, it's like, whatever. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. Like, no big deal. I don't care. 
We worship, and y'all like it amazing to worship tonight. But sometimes coming here, it's like, who cares, whatever, I'm just talking to the person next to me, whatever. We're just sitting here now, it's like, I don't really care what he's saying, he just talks about food, it's not even matters anyway, but well, I'm not going to listen. Whatever, why aren't we hungrier for God? And I'll tell you why. Because I've been there. In fact, I still get there sometimes. It's because we're full. We're not hungry for God because we're full. We're full of other things. We filled up on other things. And I'm not necessarily even talking about bad things. Maybe some, yes. Maybe sin, doing the wrong things. Maybe partying or in bad relationships, going out with people you're not supposed to be going out to. Yes, that's sin. And that can fill you up. But not in a healthy way. Not in a good way. But I'm talking about other things that fill you up. Just the, 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 the cares, the pleasures of the world. Maybe it's like friends. Maybe it's a girlfriend. And like, oh, you can't stop thinking about your girlfriend. You can't stop texting your girlfriend. You can't talk about your girlfriend. You got no time for anything else. You're full. Maybe you spend so much time on your phone or on social media. It's like, oops. I just spent three hours. And I didn't even need to. Well, what am I doing with my life? But when we fill ourselves up. And maybe it's like sports. Or hobbies. Maybe you play sports. And you're just consumed with that. And again, it's not always bad things. But it's just... Not God. And so we fill ourselves up, but we have to be careful. We have to be careful what we're consuming, what we're filling ourselves up with, because our appetites determine the direction of our life. Nothing can even come close to the good things that God has for you and wants to do for you. And so tonight I want to encourage you to keep your hustle hungry. Be hungry for the things of God. Be learning and be growing and always be moving closer to God. Even if it's just baby steps, you're still moving closer to God. You're staying hungry for more and for more. Don't fill yourself up so much that you don't have any more room for what God has for you. Because what you fill yourself up with, your hunger, your appetites will determine the direction of your life. Now the Bible says this. It's one of Probably the most famous scriptures. You guys have probably heard it before, but I want to tell you because I think it's so powerful. It's one you need to know. It's one you need to look up, underline, highlight, take notes. I encourage you to take notes every week because note takers are history makers. So take notes. This verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. The Bible says this, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. God has plans for you. God has a plan for you. Their plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. God has a good plan for your life, for your future, to give you a hope. God has good things for you. It's like he has this path for you, set up for you, planned out for you. Church is not about your entertainment. It's about your eternal life. Now, we want you to enjoy it. We want you to like it. We want you to have fun. We want you to bring your friends. We're going to have a good time. It's not about entertainment. My job is to help take you on this path. To help lead you on this, this journey that God has for you. So tonight I'm asking, would you go with me? Would you go with me? Because I believe God wants to take you somewhere. These four things that God wants to do in our lives, and He wants to lead us to this, this journey that I'm talking about, that I'm telling you you want to take. The first thing is this. It's, it's it's really simple. All of this is. You can all do it. It's easy. You can do it. But we just have to do it. Just have to hustle. Just have to keep your hustle hungry. Number one, know God. Knowing God. It's knowing God. This is the first and most important thing that we can do in our lives. This is the first and most important thing that the church is all about. It's why we're here to help you know God. Know God. We're going to help you have a personal relationship with with God. I was talking to a guy the other day. He's like, I'm not into religion. And we're like, neither are we. It's not about religion. It's about a relationship, a friendship with God. I want you to know him. I want you to really know him. And that's what our church service here, Wednesday night, Sunday morning, that's what our church service is all about. You knowing God. Number two is this. Number two is this. Live healthy. Live healthy. And this is what God was doing when he rescued them from Egypt, when we rescued them from slavery, he said, hey, I'm your God. I want you to know me. You're my people. 
You're not slaves. You're my people. We rescue you. Then he says, live healthy. Live healthy. God said that he redeemed them. He redeemed them. We have to live healthy. But can I be honest? A lot of us, we're sick. We're sick. We're soul sick. That's why we experience depression, sadness, anxiety, we have thoughts of suicide. We live a life of sin. We're involved in relationships we know we shouldn't be in. Or, you know, you've got urges, you've got feelings, and you don't. You know you shouldn't be having those things because they're not right. We're not healthy. We're sick. The Bible says this, confess your sins to God and you'll be forgiven. But confess your sins to one another. Pray for one another and you'll be healed. You'll be healed. So know God. Live healthy. Number three, find purpose. God gave them, he gave his people a purpose. And God has a purpose for you. A lot of times we think, hey, I'm just an accident. I told you this before, but got three kids and two of them were like, what? One of them was planned. Two of them were like, surprise. But can I tell you, they weren't accidents. And some of you think, man, I was just a mistake. I was just an accident. Absolutely not. God knew you since before the beginning of time. God had a plan for you since before you were even a, a thought and you were not As being a scary movie, it looked creepy. August 26th, getting a little bit closer. What are you talking about? Justice has like a delusional fight planned with himself. No. Like, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't. He shared with me his game plan. It's, it's he's got a good strategy. Yeah. A good strategy to what? You know, knock you out. Like, how are you gonna knock me out if you don't wake up in the morning? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? Okay, Say things that make sense. Like, what do you mean? You gotta kill me before the fight. What? You gotta kill me before. It's easy. Like I don't, I don't understand. Well, I don't understand where this imaginary way. hostility why, came from. Why would you go out that way? It's because you mean mug me for like a whole day straight. Who mean mugs you? you. I barely see you. You mean that's what I'm saying. The whole day you was just mugging. The whole day is what? Five minutes? No, like. You hours. don't wake up until I'm home for the day. Like no. I don't, un I don't understand. No. No. How do I mean? Mu how am I mean mugging you? Like you're, you've created this situation. No. You've adopted D's mobile persona See, look, and put it in real life. I sense the hostility in your voice. We should just fight. Because I'm trying to vlog and you're trying to threaten me. Like I don't, I'm don't threaten me in my this, vlog. This has been playing, planned for like a month. You, would you plan to fight with yourself? No, you've already Ooh. sold tickets, so. Sold tickets to who? T-shirts. Who wants to watch you die? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, about 800 people. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. We made bank off of this fight. I guess. Watch Jews die. August 26th. <laughs> like, <laughs> yay. I don't. I'm hype. I don't understand. Be hype. Connor told me that left hand. Wake up. Knock out. I'll meet you there. Ooh. Ooh. I can't wait. Shots, man. I can't wait either. Anyway, back to my clip. Just got done like bulk recording for Beyond the Screen because it's been a nuts a week. You guys watch this series, so you know what's been going on. So it's kind of crazy, but I, I'm caught up now, so it should be good. I'm gonna try and get Big Brother recorded as soon as I watch it tomorrow night so that I stay on track moving into the weekend. But yeah. I don't know. It's a long, crazy day. I don't even know what my day holds for me tomorrow. We've just been busy. We've been grinding, man. Grinding. Especially this guy right here. Hey. This guy. I'm just playing. This guy. Yeah. He's pretty, he's pretty fantastic. They don't talk crap and they try to be nice. And he deserves to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. D I was kidding. You sure? Yeah. You I sure? I'm just kidding. Because I <laughs> loaded. <laughs> like, oh, you're okay. Anyway, my husband's awesome. And period, the end. That's why people do stupid things. Because he's awesome. And he works hard. Puts out great content. Takes care of his family. It's just amazing. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Thought he had headphones on. I didn't even know he could hear me.
I'm just in a great mood because I feel like really lucky to be married to him. <laughs> Seriously. It's been a super good mood. You guys get excited when you guys have a lot of videos that go up. I see what goes on behind the scenes and how he still deals with everything else that he has going on in his life. And it's pretty awesome. So hashtag take notes boys. Real man over there. Get with it. But I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep after I make him get off the computer because it's 11.30 and he deserves to be asleep. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go unplug it and then I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys. Until the morning. All right, y'all, your boy finally about to lay it down. What time we got? It is 5.14. I don't know, man, it's just an exciting time of life. I got so much to be grateful for and so much to work for and I'm trying to make some things happen, man, for for me, my fam, my team, you guys. Just feel the pressure. We're trying to do some new things in life that it's exciting and I feel the pressure and I think I like that. You know what I mean? You guys see it kind of in video games, like I do better when there's pressure in life. I do better on projects and just different things when it's last minute and there's pressure on. So it's just exciting. So kind of stayed up a little bit later than I want to, but I shouldn't have to stay up late no more this week. It was just some timing of some things that had to happen. And I swear, I just, I swear it was like 11 p.m. a few seconds ago. I don't know how the time went so quick, but got a lot done, feeling good. And um, yeah, man, God is good. So I'm gonna lay it down. I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for all the support. Ooh, I don't think I followed up and really told y'all. Oh, I did kind of. I think I told y'all. But yeah, Daily Dose is ending soon. Give us like a, I don't know, a week or two from now. We'll let you know. We're just mentally preparing, mentally preparing you guys. So it's kind of sad, but it's exciting too. But like I said, I love y'all. We'll talk more. I'm gonna peace out. Till next time. God first. God bless. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, it's hard to shadow box when you hold in a camera, but August 26th, y'all, I'm about to put my head to sleep. Nah, I'm playing. I'm not playing. I'm, I'm serious. If she about that life, we can make it happen. Sell tickets, all that stuff. I was thinking about using like those big old sock and boppers. Boom, boom. Wow. Yeah. You find that just that fight in general, the Conor McGregor fight and the Floyd Money Mayweather fight, it's gonna be dope, man. It's gonna be super clean. And I honestly think McGregor gonna pull it out, man. If Floyd doesn't, you know, run and I wouldn't all right, I won't say run, but he's a very tactical boxer. He boxes and he's not looking to knock somebody out, in my opinion. And with all the trash he's talking, he better not go out there and do that. He better not go out there doing that. He better go in there, stand with Connor, and box. Don't be trying to get just points. Don't be in there just to get the money. Fight that man, Floyd. But yeah, wifey, I'm coming for you August 26th. Time to get this work. Appreciate y'all, love y'all. Until next time, you boy Juice out. And I'm always in the bathroom for some reason. Just don't worry about it. God first, God bless.